Michael Cummings here with BlazePod. Welcome to our Logic series. Creating a custom BlazePod activity is easy. The first step is choosing the foundation, or as we call it, the light logic. This is the program type that you will choose to best meet your needs. In this series, you'll learn all about each light logic and the reason why you would choose each one. Today, we're going to dive into one of my favorite light logics, all at once. How does the all at once light logic work? All the pods you select will light up at once until you tap them all out. Now select choose and see what happens. You can add several stations and each station will have the same activity running in parallel. So if you have six pods and the activity uses only two pods, you can effectively run three stations of that same activity, each running at the same time. The number of pods is the amount of pods you'll be using for the activity per each station. Therefore, if you are running three stations with two pods each, you won't select six pods. You'll only select two. It's the number of pods per each station. The number of players is also respective of each station. Choose how many players you want to have participating in the activity per each station. The players can also be grouped into a team. We call this teams. You will be able to change the name of each player or team before you begin the activity. Now we'll choose how many pods we want to light up all at once. You can choose all of them or simply two or three at a time. If you have six pods but choose only two to light up after you tap those two out, two more will randomly light up. This will repeat until the activity is over. Remember, this is per player. So if you've chosen more than one player, each must have the same amount of pods to tap out. Next up, choose the player that will be doing the activity by tapping on the name. Make sure to add each new player to your list so you can save all the results individually to analyze improvement. You can also select teams if you have more than one player performing a single player activity. Another cool feature is that you can change each player's color to their favorite one. If you select multiple players, make sure to have different colors for each player or team for better organization and data analysis. After you have set up the pods, players, and colors, you'll notice the indication lights flashing on the pods that are ready to use. This will help you set up your activity, especially if you are using a fewer number of pods than the number of pods in front of you. If you select multiple colors per player, the pods will indicate that as well. If you select multiple players, then the pods will flash in the player colors one after the other with a pause before starting again. This is a great way to make sure you have set up correctly. If you have multiple colors per player, the lights will indicate that as well. If you select multiple stations, station one will light up first with the correct indications, followed by station two and so on with a pause before returning back to station one. Now let's swipe or tap next to finalize the activity. You have three options to choose how or when the activity ends. Do you want the activity to end after a certain time? Or maybe you want the activity to end after the player has tapped out all the lit pods once. This is a great option for measuring speed and quickness. You can also select a specific number of repetitions. One rep would be a player tapping out all the selected pods once. Let's choose five reps. And finally, cycles. You can think of cycles like sets in weight training. Do you want the activity to run a number of times automatically with a rest period between the cycles? This option is great if you're running a drill for a number of sets before moving on to the next one. Once your activity is set, it's ready to use. You can start immediately. You can manually start the activity from the app or select start on hit. The start on hit option is great if you want to place the device down and get into position, or if you're training a group and want the drill to run self-sufficiently. If you have the pro membership, you can save the activity and use it over and over again, or share it. Now go get creative and have fun designing your own activities. Enjoy. Enjoy.